Boo's already eating them out of the crunchy container. Boo, get out of there. Get out of there. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 10.20 a.m. and I'm doing some cleaning and organizing around my house. And Stella has decided that she wants to make this round plastic tub her own. Like she's gonna lay in it and this is gonna be her little tub. I wonder what would happen if I put some water in it. So I got this round tub at Daiso, that Japanese dollar store uh, in Queens. And I can't remember exactly how much this was. I think it might have been $1.99. And I got it because I like the size of it. Um, it could be used for many different purposes around the house. And I haven't really used it. It's just been kind of sitting on the side. And today it was on the floor and Stella has decided to crawl into it. And she's going to make it her bed. <laughs> it's actually a really good size for a cat bed. It is now 11.45 a.m. and Stella is still laying in this plastic tub. She loves it. She says it's hers now. It is 8.18 p.m. I just got home like five minutes ago and I'm doing some cat chores like scooping out the litter. And this is where Stella's hanging out. This is Stella's new favorite place. She probably was in here all day, or most of the day. Right, Stella? You were in there most of the day, right? So now I'm going to feed Hydrox, I'm going to feed the inside cats, and then tonight I want to make some raw food. It's 10.22 p.m. I'm in the middle of making raw food for the cats, and this is where Stella's hanging out. She's in that plastic tub. And this is four packages of chicken thighs and four packages of chicken drumsticks mixed up with all the supplements. And I've been scooping these out onto portions, onto the trays and putting trays in the freezer. So I have probably another four or five more trays to go. It is 12.02 a.m. I just finished cleaning up about a half hour ago. And Stella is still in the plastic tub. Now she just got mad at Boo because Boo came too close to her. And Stella said that's her tub. Nobody else could have it. Right, Stella? Stella, are you going to sleep in that tub? Are you going to sleep there? The cats are getting some treats. And Boo is eating them so fast. And Stella, I don't think she likes these these are the shrimp flavor, but I have some tuna here that I'm gonna give them. Simba ate his, Splash ate his. Stella is eating the tuna treats. Boo is acting like a maniac. And Splash and Simba are eating together because Boo stole all of Simba's. I just gave Stella more of the tuna treats. She's eating them very nicely. Boo finished all of his shrimp treats. Simba finished his shrimp treats and Splash finished his. I just gave the cats about a half of a tablespoon of crunchies each. They're all acting like they are ridiculously hungry. So for dinner tonight, they had the primal raw rabbit nuggets. They each had a nugget and a half. And I don't know, maybe that food makes them hungry. Maybe it's not as satisfying as homemade food. I don't know. But right now these cats are acting like they're starving. It is 10.20 a.m. Look where I found Stella in her favorite plastic tub. It is 10.27 a.m. Look how big Boo's tail is right now. He's all freaked out. So there's Stella, but she wasn't in her tub like a minute ago. She was in the doorway with Simba. And I don't know if she was attacking Simba or Simba was attacking her, 
but the two of them were going at it. And then Boo got all upset and he came over here and he was approaching Stella and he's saying, Stella, are you okay? And his tail was all big, but he just sat down. Boo, it's okay, it's okay, Boo. It's okay, Boo. I just counted all of the raw food that I made and I made 255 scoops of homemade raw food. 55 scoops of turkey breast and chicken wings and 200 scoops of the typical raw food that they've been eating made out of chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks. So for 255 scoops, if the inside cats get five scoops in the morning and five scoops at night, that's like 10 scoops a day. Um, so that's like 25 days of food. But some days they get like tuna or sardines and other days they might get some of the commercial raw food or they might get some canned food. And of course, if I'm away overnight, then they get crunchies and freeze dried food in their feeders. So I think this will definitely last throughout the month of June. Now, of course, that's not taking into consideration how much Hydrox might eat, but he's been super finicky lately with the food that he's eating. So sometimes he just doesn't even like the raw food. So instead of wasting it on him, I'd rather just give it to the inside cats. So. We'll see. Even with giving some to Hydrax, I really think this will last me throughout the month of June. It is 7.10 p.m. right now, and the cats ate their dinner a little while ago. I don't know, like 30 minutes ago, and I was wondering where Boo was. And I was like, what's going on? And then I just looked, and Splash is laying on the top step. Boo is sitting on the staircase, and Stella was at the bottom of the staircase. And Boo wants to come upstairs, but it looks like Splash is not letting him. Maybe if I step down, maybe Boo will come upstairs. Cause see what happened? Splash just went down. Okay, Boo, you coming up? Come on up. Come on up, Boo. You can come upstairs. You can come upstairs. And here's Hydrox. He's laying on the bottom of the steps, like on the patio right below the steps. And I was outside with him a little while ago. And I was just talking to him. And I was a few feet away from him and he wasn't freaking out or anything. Um, and I did give him food. He had some canned food. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think it was chicken. It was some of the food that was from Germany in the pouches. And then I put it in like the magic bullet to kind of puree it a little bit. But he wasn't very hungry. And then I found something else. Do you see what I found on one of the steps? Look at that. Look at all of those feathers. So it appears to me that um, I'm assuming it was Hydrox. Um, hunted something. I don't know how long those feathers have been there, if they've been there since yesterday or they're only there today. Today's the first day that I saw them. So, um, yeah, it looks like Hydrox has no problem hunting. It's 7.30 p.m. Look where Stella is. And here's Splash. Splash is relaxing on the towel. The cats are trying some new crunchies today. And that's Boo walking around. Actually, all the cats are here right now. And these are Whole Earth Farms crunchies. And when I say crunchies, I mean dry cat food. Um, this is the grain-free recipe with real chicken. And this says this is for all life stages, indoor and outdoor natural food for cats with added vitamins and minerals. This bag says copyright 2014 Merrick Pet Care. So I believe this is a brand of crunchies from Merrick Pet Food. This says Whole Earth Farms takes the best and healthiest ingredients from the earth and brings them together into a delicious daily meal. With multiple protein sources and vegetables, Whole Earth Farms provides your cat with natural goodness from the earth. Protein-rich peas and chicken are just some of the nutritious ingredients you will find in this Whole Earth Farms recipe. Your cat deserves the very best, and Whole Earth Farms is here to provide the grain-free nutrition they need. Welcome to Whole Earth Farms. And then it shows some real wholesome ingredients like chicken, potatoes, peas, alfalfa, and salmon oil. So if we take a look at the ingredients, we can see the first ingredient is chicken meal, followed by turkey meal, 
followed by dried potatoes, peas, chicken, chicken fat preserved with mixed tocopherols, pea protein, natural flavor, pea fiber, dried yeast culture, salt, organic dried alfalfa meal, choline chloride, minerals, taurine, salmon oil, and then we go into vitamins and there are also some probiotics in here. So I thought the ingredients look good. Uh, there are no strange byproducts. Um, there's no soy, there's no corn, there's no wheat. Um, those are all the, um, the big things that I look out for. Um, and some of the natural foods also include beans, or chickpeas or lentils. I'm not really a fan of those for cats. And some also include dried egg products. I don't mind feeding it to the cats, but I also don't mind if the food does not have it in it. So let's open up this bag and take a look at these crunchies and see what they look like. This is what the crunchies look like. They are quite small. So they're smaller than the Nature's Variety Crunchies and they're smaller than the Blue Wilderness Crunchies. And I can't remember the other brand uh, that these remind me of. I'm really, really, really bad with names. Uh, but those are about the same size as these. So we'll see if the cats like these. First thing I am going to do is pour them from this bag into the crunchy container. And Boo's already here and Stella's here and they're all getting excited. Boo's already eating them out of the crunchy container. Boo, get out of there. Get out of there. Boo, get out, get out, get out. You gotta wait. You gotta wait, Boo. Just hold on. The cats also got some new crunchy plates. I found these in the Christmas tree shop the other day, or they have that new shop called And That, um, which is basically just the new name for new shops uh, opened um, as the Christmas tree shop. And this one is really, really cute. It looks like a watermelon. I love this. So I'm gonna give this one to Boo because he looks good with red. Then I have this one that looks like an orange and I thought Stella might like this one. So I'm gonna give this one to Stella. Boo's waiting by his plate already, and there's Stella by her plate. And then I have two green limes, so Simba's gonna get a lime plate. Somebody you like your lime plate? And Splash is getting a lime plate. Splash is checking it out. Simba's all ready. Look how smart these cats are. They know. They know these are their new plates. Okay, guys, ready? Boo! Woof! Sit up. Sit down. Okay, I think Stella wants the watermelon plate. Boo! Moo! Stella's gonna get the watermelon plate. Boo's gonna get the orange. Simba has his lime, and Splash has his lime. I think Stella wants to eat on the watermelon plate because she sees me eat watermelon like every week, and Stella always loves doing everything that I do. Hey, Boo, come on. We'll fill your orange back up. Come on. Over here. Splash is eating his. Simba moved over next to Splash. So Stella also just told me that she should have the watermelon plate because she's the only girl here. Let all the boys eat on the citrus. So Simba and Splash have the limes and Boo has the orange. It's 11.05 p.m. I just took out some raw food so that it can defrost for breakfast for the cats tomorrow and here's Stella. Stella are you gonna sleep in this round tub? Is this where you're sleeping tonight Stella? Okay you could stay here. I hope you sleep well. Is Splash gonna crawl in that tub with you Stella? Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.